and welcome back to Dungeon Hunter Champion. So today we are taking on board seven. You think the outer doesn't want us to beat the game? The invoker is clearly having a stabilizing effect on the eternal contest. Even though the creation of these scenarios is fracturing the boundaries between realms, the invoker repairs them. So all we have to do is win? That is my best guess. So literally it's kind of like fourth walling here. It's like, oh, we need to beat the game. <laughs> Ah, very funny. I mean, whatever, it's fine, but uh, Board 7, I see so many people in the global chat always complaining that they can't finish level 7 11, which is the final boss of the game, I believe, or at least in the story mode at the moment. And I have, yeah, again, anybody with a strong fire friend I can use for 7 11. There was someone else talking about it, just as I'm talking about it. So, um, I'm getting kind of antsy, because I haven't done most of this- Actually, I don't think I've done any of this board before. So, I'm, I'm getting very spooked to see what is going to happen in that final boss fight. I mean, so far, because I did that whole day of complete character grinding, and like promoted multiple things and got them nearly to max level, we have been having a very- easy time but i don't know are we going to be able to do that final level that is the question and th apparently auto's turned itself off why is it not moving crow hack what are you doing the game does this every so often like i'll just be sitting here and i'll try and wait for it to start up and it just won't until i click so you know i've said before ai is really good the auto feature is so useful if you're raiding and stuff but you have to still be sort of aware as to what's going on. Otherwise, your character just, you know, I don't know, just stands there like, like an idiot, basically. But, again, if I can do these while having auto on completely, you can tell that we are probably a little bit stronger than we need to be. I still want Ling Shea. We, we already have Red Snake Lady, but I want Ling Shea. Welcome to the arena, Rogrim. Time to put this contest to rest and see which of us is the best. And how do you intend to do that? Get a bunch of your friends to beat me up in an unfair fight? Not just any friends. Hello, Gamma. It's been a while. Nebula, I hope that in all my travels in the multiverse, I would never see you. Yet here I am. Don't blame me for get being better. I am so far behind. Whatever. And then the two Celestines are having a little bit of a, a, a quarrel here. Fine. Whatever, I give up. I mean, we are a thousand battle rating, or whatever it is, higher than most of these fights that we're going into. But the strat still hasn't changed. We have our two mages, and we have the spearman who's sort of acting as sort of a, a tank, off tank, slash fighter. Um, it seems we are getting destroyed at the moment, though. Okay, we'll take sort of control there, because the, the bot just stood in the massive ray of death but <clears throat> it really does work having the two mages i thought it might be a really bad idea but as long as you have someone that goes in so the bot does it for you for the most part it seems to work out quite well and we should probably be focusing down their support instead of their fighter first you know the what the idea is in most games if you focus down the support they can't heal which means you win faster and I, I, I feel like it still worked in this game. So uh, there's my little bit of advice. You know, if you're considering what to actually focus down, focus down the squishies, focus down the supports. Oh, will little mortals come to play? Who is this? Gorgolon. I've eaten larger mortals as a snack. A great demon. It's monstrous. Yeah, well, that's what demons do. Being monstrous has sought their defining quality. A sense of humour in the face of death. How amusing. Let's see if you can survive a little torment before you face me. I like my meat to be tenderised before I devour it. What a cool guy. You know, at least he's being honest about it. You know, he likes tenderised meat. A lot of people do. Although, depending on the cut of meat, you know, if you tenderise it, it actually takes the flavour out. So, um... You know, always keep that in mind. I've forgotten what it is. It's like Gordon Ramsay's favourite cut. Like, if you ever tenderise that, he'll probably go AWOL on you. I don't know. I've seen too many of those YouTube 
compilations of him, I suppose. So, um, just ignore me. Just talking about my tenderized meat. Um, if only I was a man, that would be more relevant. But anyway, we are against a bunch of plant guys here, which means Crowhag isn't doing as much as I'd hope. At least we're not weak to them. And the weaknesses, I think, will probably start playing a bigger role very soon. Because you see that our blue guy here, he takes quite a lot of damage, even from these little enemies that we're dealing with. So, you know, Snake Lady, if you want to come out and wreck everything, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate that very much. But, you know, I'm not sure still. Would I recommend people to play this game? Because the story mode, for the most part, is keeping me going. But I do have my concerns about what's going to happen post-game. Because at that point, it's basically just doing the fights on Legend and Epic difficulty, like, the exact same thing again. So, I have my worries as to how long this game is going to keep me occupied. I mean, we've got the, the last boss coming up soon, so, you know, I'm getting really antsy about that. But just, I'm curious. And, you know, the games have only just been released, so they may bring out a ton of new stuff as well. So I'm going to hold my prejudgments for a while, but, you know, that's just my initial thought. And you want me to promote a champion, um, we could promote a, a bounty hunter here, we just need to level him up to level 30. So if we use a Flufflepuff, that'll do it straight away. Go ahead. Thank you, bounty hunter. And the only issue I have with promoting is that we have to use characters of the, sta the same star rating. So I, I worry about how we're going to promote our, our four-star characters. Because I don't have, like, any four-stars that I can... Oh, a Mighty Cleave upgrade. Cool. I have, like, none. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I, I finished messing around with a couple of missions. We're back on the board. We need to get this grind done. Still alive? Perhaps I shall sell my cut and pick the flesh from your bones. You really have no idea how many demons I've put down over the years. Nor do I care. Whoa. Whoa, that's that's pretty BM. He's like, I don't even care. Oh, God, a skew. What is this? It's like one of those little devils, but I think it's um ascended. So it looks different. I'm, I'm still curious. Because some of the really low, like, two and, like, the two-star characters and that... I'm wondering, after they get promoted to six stars, do they actually turn out good, or do they still just suck? Because a lot of them end up only having, like, two attacks, and some of them are, like, pretty pointless. Like, these devil's stupid moves, they just fly around the map like idiots. Why? Why is that even a thing? I can't really think of a great use for it, but... To be fair, I've never used them, never tried them out myself, so I could be wrong. Could be wrong indeed. Who knows? But these devil things, they they seem to not be dying. Why is it not dying? Do I not have enough damage on our crow hag here? That's kind of concerning. You see, things are starting to take less damage now. They're starting to deal more damage, and I'm starting to get kind of spookified as to what is going on because if, if we stop being able to kill things that's normally not a good sign normally not always I'm not gonna assume but this is just this mini battlefield thing so literally the AI just stands on the spot and does not care at all like literally I don't think it's moved yet you're gonna move for round five though no, we're still going to stand there. Well, look, when I need to, I'll start controlling it. Don't, don't say lazy. Although it is kind of lazy, I'll admit. But as soon as we have to start moving around, doing some intricate stuff, I will. But you can see, this is just, you know, the AI doesn't even move. That's, that's how little it cares. Get out of here, devil. Little scoo. 
I just want another five star. I want, I want my next big thing to be a five star. Are you going to give that to me? Are you going to give me a five star just before the boss fight? So then I really want to level that up. One of the great demon's creatures is attacking a time crystal. Bounty Hunter, we have to chase it down before it destroys it. Oh, it's so entertaining to watch you at scurry about. Perhaps I should make you run faster. You're the only one who'll be running when we get through all the trash. Beautiful. I mean, I do like the Bounty Hunter, but he, he does sort of get OTT sometimes. Just a little bit. It's like... You know, the amount of masculinity radiating off of him is just a little bit too much sometimes. So, will this scorpion be as easy as the scorpions from the last boards? Because, I don't know if you saw the last board scorpions, but they all died, like, literally in about two seconds. So, how is this one going to go for us? Little robot, stop firing your laser on us, please. I beg. Well, this one seems to be a little bit tanky. Oh, God, just as I say that, he takes, like, 9 million damage. Rip. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's like if you just focus this scorpion down, it's like nothing nothing else is even a concern. As long as you can survive the other random minions' attacks, like, this thing just insta-dies. No, Autobot, stop attacking the lizard kin. God damn, I have to control it myself. Ah, so much effort. I had to press Q once. Game. I expect better from you than this. If I'm right-clicking to target the big thing, please focus it down. Please? Okay, what is this? So, ha, more meat to grind. Another scam. This one's no prettier than the last. He seems to be a doppelganger of the scam warlord we fought before. This is the Veil of Eternity. They will keep resurrecting as long as their core survives. Then we'll drive them back to their core. <sighs> you know, this is my fault. I read super fast. Before I was doing it super slow, but I just want to get this over and done with. I'm sorry. Like, um... I think I'm close to like 700 words per minute, something like that, for what I can read. 600 to 700, something like that. I think that that's the, like, number that you use. I don't know. I've, I've just done one of those weird tests before. Not a proper one, like in a an office with, like, a, an actual tester or something. Just random internet ones, but I don't know how accurate that is. It probably also helps if you have a monitor with really high, um... What is it, hertz? But, um... Mine is a Dell monitor that my my dad got from his workplace years ago so to say that this is the highest quality monitor of all time would definitely be a lie um it's basically like stolen goods not really stolen but you know how you go to work sometimes and you you just end up bringing things home i think that was basically the gist of it so they didn't really need the monitor and he took it back but i should probably upgrade one day not that it really matters for a game like this, but, I mean, just having the uh, the better monitor, the better your monitor is, the easier it is to see things. And, you know, the less your screen tears, and I'd probably appreciate that a lot in FPS games, amazingly enough. But no, we, we will deal with our, our stolen Dell monitor. <laughs> It's quite a big monitor, I'll give you that though. Like, it's it's bigger than the second monitor that I have, which is the reason I use it as my main. But it, I, I can't imagine that it costs more than, like, probably £50 pounds this day and age, maybe even less. That's how bad it is. Whereas, like, for a good monitor, it's like 250 ish I don't know. I don't remember anymore, but I need to upgrade it at some point. Can we just tank this? Is this going to work? Oh, sweet. They need a better way to see that enemy core health because that's the thing I've been noticing that you just can't see it. So I'm just like hoping and praying that I can actually tank it properly. Which is probably not the outlook I should have, to be completely honest with you. I shouldn't just be guessing. Anyway. Another doppelganger has appeared, a timekeeper. He assaults the ancient temple. I says there are several time crystals in danger. 
If the outer attacks these crystals in more than one version, what will happen? The ley lines are certainly connected between realms, spilling over into other realms. No, it does not sound good. Okay, so it's basically what they've been saying all along. That, you know, the time crystals are valuable. And uh, they keep all the universes and that intact. So if they get destroyed, they're all going to spill out into one another. So that's what the the corruption slash bad enemies are trying to do. Oh, I need to turn auto back on. But they're trying to make it so all the universes sort of combine in a way. I still don't understand why. Because apparently they're saying that if that happens, everything's going to die. So why would they want to do that? Do they actually just want everything destroyed? Is there a proper purpose for it? I have no idea. No idea at all. And I see that they have Crystal Priest here. We should have been taking him down first. I always forget that, you know, even though it is on auto, we can still force the AI, like our allies, to focus certain characters sometimes. So I, I just like, you know, zone out and it's like, bleh, you just stare at the monitor and then that's it. And of course everyone's used their, their ultimates just before the boss comes out. Of course. This timekeeper last time was kind of a pain in the butthole, so I don't know how he's going to go. It's because he heals for so much, because he has like his scythe attacks these ones and then they come back in he heals for a bunch oh he's just so annoying to deal with but luckily we got enough damage get out of here i hate having to deal with these timekeepers are they good supports i know that they apparently are supports but are they good because they are two very very different things I don't have a whole heap of hope for a lot of the supports in this game, but maybe the timekeeper is good. Maybe we should consider using it at one point. Oh, legendary shards! You're too kind to me. Thank you. It looks as though we'll have to travel through Jinkashi to reach the end of this board. That will not be possible. Oh my god, it's her! It's Lingxie with the green drag- not dragon, snake. We've finally seen them in game. Oh, that's so cool. So there's a great demon spreading corruption. Did a demon send us here? I sensed a taint. Hey, Ling Shei, I've been waiting for you this whole game. Don't you BM me like that. She looks really cool in her ascended artwork. Uh, what are the chances that we're going to get that drop? Because she's a five star, I believe. Snake Lady is a four star drop. So she's probably stronger in quite a lot of ways. It's just she is pl the plant slash leaf. I, d I don't even know what element they call it. But we already have that on Crow Hag, but I don't know. Maybe we could just replace the Crow Hag completely if we got her. Would it really be a bad thing to have two snake ladies, basically? I mean, Crow Hag does reduce the defense. Or make them take more damage with her W. So I still think Crow is pretty good overall. Not a terrible character at least. But Snake Lady is really good in terms of her damage. So if you just wanted to like hard focus on insta-killing things. Maybe you could just have a team of three. Three Snake Ladies and Ling Shea all together. Sounds cool. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure late game you can just choose whatever the hell you want, you know, you've gotten enough stuff and gotten a ton of legendaries and nothing's good anymore. Feels like DML all over again. But you can see she's just standing there. It's just such a cool character design and the idea that it's just a snake that wanted to have the, the facade of a pretty lady. I think that's a cool idea. Either way, she's dead now. Okay, I, I joke. It's like Pokemon where they don't actually die, they just faint or something because she'll, she'll probably talk to us in a second. Which I find really weird because you've clearly, like, thrown magic spells in their face to the point where they're, like, murdered. But it doesn't count. I don't know why. But we need to upgrade some gear or something so we can upgrade this. Is this going to work? Failed. 
Oh, that did work. Let's see, can we get it to level 9? Failed. Failed. More failure, like my life. More failure. Finally. Oh, God. You get to the point where you're like, is this ever going to work? Like, genuinely. And we'll claim that. Fight any challenger two times. Oh, God, these stupid challengers. I haven't done, like, any of these on my PC account yet. I did a few on Android. But the arena in this game is so buggy. I don't know if you've experienced it or anyone else has. But the arena. If you go into the normal arena fights versus, like, real people teams, it crashes like 90% of the time. That's not even an exaggeration. The challenges, they seem okay. And plus they're only one round long, so it's really not that bad. Oh, level 11! Oh, thank you! Increase that max energy, baby! So the challenges, like I was saying, are fine. But the actual arena opponents, like in attack mode, are so bad. I hate the fact that as soon as I get arena quests, I have to, like, sit there and redo the same fight ten times until it doesn't crash one of those times. Like, why is it like that? Why are you going to be like that game? <sighs> bug loft. You know, to say that game loft isn't a buggy game company, well, that would be a lie. I just hope that they fix it soon, because it is so painful trying to do arena fights. If it actually worked, I'd probably be like a decent ranking overall, because we got new season, new rewards and stuff. But it just... not having any of it for whatever reason. There's a Flufflepuff, and now we get some equipment for finishing the last fight, and then it's just doing everything on epic difficulty, like I said earlier, so... You know... I think, for now, you know, we got quest 9 here. I don't know if we can do it yet, but probably going into the next video that we do, that will probably be the last boss fight, if nothing else. So Gorgolon, I assume he is going to be the final boss. I am ready for you. I think we will do the Steel Widow fight just to end off for today, though, because I want to know if we can even do this fight, because the Steel Widow is apparently really weak to the Crow Hag, as far as I'm aware, but, you know, going into boss fights, it's like, can we even do them yet? Because if we can't, I'll probably do some grinding. If we can't do this boss fight here, we definitely won't be able to do the last couple of fights or whatever so I guess this will be our testing point can we do it can we not these are all light robots that's the thing when are we gonna actually start getting light characters I've been waiting I've been waiting a good while now but not getting any light and dark drops or light and shadow whatever it is all we get is fire and plant and water and I'm bored of it I want better you know, to be fair, I did uh, summon a couple of them last time, but the, the light stuff we've been getting is so garbage. Like, a light archer and a light robot, like sentry, like these things, that's what we get. We don't get something cool, like a light crow hag or something. No, we just get absolutely gypped. And it's very, very depressing. I am not a fan of it at all. It just isn't fair. Like, obviously getting higher star stuff is already like a big, a big if. Because the higher the star is of the stuff that you're getting, probably the easier your time is going to be. But then if you get light and shadow stuff early, just imagine how much easier your game experience is going to be. Because you're not weak to like anything. Apart from, like, the occasional boss. Oh, Widow, please don't stun all of us like that. You're scaring me. Look at all the, the shield it has. Oh, God, we need to actually do this properly. Ugh. Okay, I thought that we might have died there. That was very nice. I mean, it's taking a ton... Okay. 
a ton of damage would be an understatement. Just look at how quickly it, like, fizzles. Doesn't even matter if we take that damage. Okay, that was much easier than I expected. Um, again, I was saying, oh, can we even beat it? Can we even beat this boss? Well, if we couldn't beat that, I don't even know what to say. That was far too easy, though. So what is this? So, for such small things you struggle so fiercely. But all struggles must one day come to an end. How long do you think you can run with death at your back? And you sure talk a lot. Is there a point to this rambling? It amuses me, as does your pain. Let's see how long you can run from my spirit guardian. Oh god, it's one of these. Okay. So I did go into this fight. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think that we can do it quite yet. So I'm going to call it here. But like I said, next time... It is going to be the final boss battle on board 7-11. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how difficult it is. Again, I'm, I'm monka essing because everyone in the chat's always like, I need help! I need help! How do I beat this last boss? So I'm getting really freaky deaky out. So, um... For now, thank you for joining me today. Uh, let me know how your own progress in game's going because I haven't really been able to experience anyone else playing this game yet. I've just sort of been alone in my own world doing my own stuff, but I don't really know what sort of experiences everyone else has been having. Oh, just look at the damage we're taking. Oh, uh, she's dead. Yeah. A million percent over. But anyway, for now, thank you for being here, and until next time, I will see you then.